Well, hello, and I recently reviewed the Runcam MicroSwift with the 2.1mm lens using a plane, and I thought it was pretty good. It's a tiny little camera, has all the abilities of the larger Runcam Swifts, although there was a little bit of distortion on this very wide-angle lens. So I wanted to put it on a quad to see how it worked and if I thought it, it did well. Um, and this is me flying on a, a new builder, a Martian 3. And I have to say, initially, I didn't like it at all. I was having some real trouble lining things up. This is just meeting with some fellow flyers with some gates set up, trying to go through them. And I was having real difficulty trying to find the right height and keep it there. But I also figured, oh, maybe it's not the lens. Maybe it's just this quad isn't very well set up. And it had a tendency to not be able to find a place where it didn't want to go up or down. So I went over to my field and set the quad up a little bit differently. I put some Throttle Expo in. I've altered the angle of the camera. Basically, see if I could... When I put the power down, I wanted to go forwards instead of going up. I'm trying to set this up more as a, a racing quad after the not particularly good attempt to race around the gates. Now I haven't got gates here so I'm kind of using a stick in the middle of the field uh, to try and do some hairpins around that and seeing if I can get the power back on quickly without going right in the air which to me would be an example of it, it working correctly. Um, at the same time I'm having a, a much better time trying to figure out um, my altitude on the quad and I'm actually really starting to like this lens. At first I thought it was way too wide. You can see there's distortion on the horizon. Uh, it's got the sort of fisheye effect as, as it will on a 2.1mm lens. But um, for the pure fact that you can see so much whilst actually having quite a high tilt, um, it's really nice. And that's reflected when I come in for a landing, it's no problem. The camera's at a fair old tilt and yet yeah, I can see everything. So I'm quite liking this one now and I, I thought I was just going to test this out and move it, but I've got absolutely no inclination to move it right now. What I should have coming though is also the 2.3mm lens uh, for the Runcan Swift. And I thought it'd be really nice to try and put these side by side to provide um, a good comparison and then if you're thinking of getting one you will hopefully have a good idea about which one might suit your type of flying more. Anyway I just wanted to show this little bit of raw footage um, showing the lens doing its thing. I'll let this video just play out with the sound recorded from the VTX. Feel free to watch it if you want to get some more idea of what the footage is like from the camera and I will see you next time. Bye for now.